What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode 32 of the Vidiots Podcast. Uh, it is after E3. Yay! Finally, we waited so long. So, uh, before we get into E3. that... E3. What have you been up to? E3? Oh, okay. Reading It, slowly. <laughs> Playing Still Resident Evil 4. <sighs> so I'll get to at some point. Okay. What the, what the heck, man? You're missing a lot of stuff. Duh. <laughs> you don't even want to get into stone status. That's <laughs> not even something. Why don't I have these? <laughs> He's looking at trophies on his golden what? guardian. What? These are so easy. Why didn't I go back and do this stuff? Mm-hmm. Oh. Boo. Okay, Boo. So- you can still talk. Then we'll just move on to the news. news. So lots of gaming news. Um, E3 That's happened. That's mostly what it is. Um, so we'll just start with conference and just keep going to what they did. The first conference that happened was EA. And to be quite frank, I really could care less. EA. Yeah, they did theirs on Saturday, I think it was. But I really don't care. It's just sports and Star Wars. So if you like that kind of stuff, then... I don't know that you. Star Wars game was cool, don't it? Yeah. I really just don't care. Um, on Sunday was Microsoft and Bethesda or whatever. Bethesda. Bethesda. <laughs> Bethesda. <laughs> Microsoft, they announced their Scorpio, which is now Xbox One X, which is a stupid name. I feel sorry for parents going to buy their kids this what, day. Why do I want uh, 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 X, Xbox X, X two, three? And then it is get a confused. stupid. Get their confused names and the their Xbox then... One is a dumb name in general. Mm-hmm. Three hours. Yeah, right. So, uh, two save I, the last. And, and then the Ooh. games that Microsoft showed, I could care less about. Really, Microsoft, I think, just stupid. But on uh, Monday, we got Sony's. Um, oh yeah. And D three was just weird this year. It was kind of weird this year. It was oddly quick, yeah. and not much talk. Like Sony's press conference, press conference uh, some guy talked twice. Twice. Yeah. That's the least amount of talking I've ever seen. Honestly, that's okay. Just show the I games. Think. Well, you know, I like when people talk about but, games. You know. Yeah. But uh, did you even play Uncharted Four? Because it's not on here. Yes, this is PS3 game I'm looking at. Oh, okay. I got Platinum Walking Dead. Okay. That's um, easy. That's a point and click. So what stood out to you in Sony's conference? What what'd you say? What stood out to you in Sony's conference? Um Well the biggest shocker of all time. Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, yeah. When I screen sh- when that first screenshot I thought This looks familiar. And in the back of my mind I was thinking Shadow of the Colossus. I thought, no. <laughs> then the next screenshot I was like, Yes, this this is it's either a sequel or it's a freaking remake. And then I shared more of the shots. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a freaking remake. It's a remake. And I, I yeah. was like, uh, I never was thought in a million years. But It's kind of funny because in the pre-show, I was watching the IGN thing, and they actually said something like, you know, like, they just there was a rumor going around that Shadow Colossus was... Uh, I never heard of it. And the, when the, I, the, IGN the name said, was tra- they never the, the name was trademarked again. So, like, okay, what could that mean? And I oh, guess was this it? Is, and I guess this is it because they were doing an HD remake of it. So... I can't believe it, man. Spider Man. Spider Man was the best. Uh, that everything awesome. that they showed at E three <laughs> that was incredible. It's basically Uncharted. Everybody it's said it was there, like Uncharted, Uncharted mixed and Arkham. With Arkham, Arkham. Arkham, yeah. Which you know when Arkham <laughs> came out, <laughs> that was the best superhero game of all time. So yeah, you gotta think that every superhero game that comes out after that. Is gonna well, this game made of, by um, Insomniac, so you know it's already got. It's a, gonna play like it. No, but it's got a ca- like a, a company working behind it that knows what they're doing. So that too, <laughs> that helps. Um, yeah, that looked amazing. Of course, for me, I liked Uncharted, so I'll get, be getting that. And God of War, and I don't care about. I mean, it looks I good. Do but I do care about it. But uh, I do care. People are saying how they're like, eh, it doesn't look like God of War. It's- it doesn't. <laughs> it's a different voice actor too, which I don't Is like. It? That yeah, hmm. stupid. But it's confirmed that it's the same Kratos because 
from what they showed from the footage, it's definitely the same. So isn't same it just guy. like a lot later? I don't know. I have no idea. <clears throat> the podcast I was listening to said that they're just curious on where uh, the story's headed. Yeah, it's all so. mine, because that was an epic story in the first three. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, even doing anything after that, it's like, where do you go from there? Well, the, ob- the obvious thing is to go to different pantheons of gods, mm-hmm. which is all kinds of different. Yeah. I was hoping they were going to do Egyptian. That'd be cool. Maybe somewhere uh, down This is line, Norse is Thor and stuff. Is Thor going to be in it? Didn't you already kill Thor? No, he fought the Greek gods. Oh. That was Zeus oh. and Hercules and all yeah. them. Hercules. Thor is Norse, not Greek. Gotcha. This is Odin and Loki and this is... Gotcha. Anything you see in Thor is Norse yeah. stuff. So, okay. some of that stuff I'll know, but... When they showed all, actually showed all gameplay. I mean, looked, yeah, they did. Like, you know, that it's looked like, like classic though, God of War, like... except he has a different weapon. He doesn't have his chains. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Days Gone looks cool, too. <coughs> and... <coughs> I like that. I, all those zombies at one time, that's scary, Everybody's man. Everybody's like, oh, this is just like... That's scary. It's like, mix last, of it's like Last, last of Us. Well, last that's why I like it, because and... it looks like The Last of Us. It's like a mix of Last of Us and what was that one? Dead Rising. Well, that's not a bad <laughs> thing, because I like the concept of both. Yeah. But that, just seeing all the zombies, zombie that's bear. scary. I can tell you, it's going to be a stressing game for me. My hands are going to sweat playing that game. <laughs> Yeah, and a zombie bear. Who has a zombie bear? No. <laughs> um, the one weird thing with the robots, that looked... I don't know. What, what was that weird called? weird thing with the robots. Robots. When they were showing it, it looked like it was mostly a cutscene, but there was a few... I don't know what you mean. These guys had the circle on the side of their head. And they were trying to free them. Oh, that, it's that heavy rain. It's the that, point and click adventure yeah, thing. That, it, that. Looked, it looked overly dramatic to it, me. It did. <laughs> like, I have no interest. I played heavy rain. In fact, I got platinum on it. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you know, choose, your, choose what to do. Mm-hmm. It's interesting, but, you know, it's not very replay replayability on those games. It's not very hot. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I forgot about that. What else did Sony show? Um, they didn't show The Last of Us 2. I was bummed. Well, apparently they said, like, must whatever be. they showed last time was, wasn't even from That's the game. That's what Jason said. Just... That's what Jason said. Oh, wow. They show Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Story. Oh, that's right. Everybody's complaining I'm about just, that. I'm complaining about the roster. Everybody's complaining about that, and everybody's complaining it's about terrible. the way it looks, the graphics. Yeah, it didn't look that great. Because everybody's like, oh, the story stupid. mode. But everybody's saying I'm how more that about roster the leak is kind of like... It's dumb. If that's even true, because that roster leak didn't so have far. zero in it. And zero is confirmed playable, so... It did have zero. I think it did. No, it didn't. I thought the, I double checked. The roster leak didn't have zero. Checked. I'm pretty sure it didn't. I thought I heard DLC. someone say how it didn't. That roster was the initial roster, not DLC. I also heard that they... Black Panther's DLC... Yeah, when someone's complaining about that because like he's in the story, why isn't he already playable? That is true. But yeah, I'm really worried about it. <laughs> a lot of people are really worried. Well, maybe they'll get the hint because that last roster in three was all, was almost perfect. Almost. Yeah, Capcom it, side it was perfect. They took away Phoenix right. Like what the heck? <laughs> well, they took away a lot of people. It looks like. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe Phoenix Star will come back as DLC. Yeah, know. there's still the DLC. Maybe we'll get all these guys back. If that's the case, then I'll be fine with it. Who all was the DLC for announced today? The first it round? Is. Was it just Black, Black Panther and the Mega Man X villain? Oh, Sigma? Okay. That, that's pre order bonus DLC, I think. Oh, okay. They come later, I guess, for everyone else. But if you gotcha. pre order, I think you get those. Gotcha. I didn't say anything about Shenmue either. We knew that. I'm hoping they do a collection of that. I heard about that going in that they weren't the Shemu wasn't going to be a D3 this year. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. They didn't have much to say about anything. To be honest, it was all games, games, games. There's nothing. Which is fine, but I mean, no, well, no. I want to hear about something else. <laughs> oh, this, all the VR games look stupid. I, I, well, don't, I don't know. VR. VR might be cool. You know, have you played VR? Have you seen those games? They look cool. The ones that showed off. Why don't you play one? Great. 
It's like, oh, what's the next Final Fantasy game? Well, some of them, they don't show what... Well, that's dumb. (laughs) That mouse game looked interesting, but... Mm. Oh, they didn't really show you the gameplay, did they? Yeah, they did. Do they? You're basically... A, the you, look way like, looked, oh, you look like the thing from Spirited Away. The way, the way it looked is you were manipulating the environment for the mouse to travel across or whatever. Um, the Monster Hunter World. That game looks weird. It's another Monster Hunter. Right? <laughs> what more do you want? It's fighting a dinosaur. It took him like forever to kill it. <laughs> I mean, it looked nice, but I'm not into Monster Hunter. Because someone was saying how they played Monster Hunter before, and that whole first section of that trailer, where he's just walking around not doing much, they're like, you know, that's like 80% of the game. <laughs> so, really? I'm like, oh, Doing well. weird stuff with this thing? Yeah, and then there's like 20%. I don't know what was going on there. And then like 20% of it is Why actually is fighting it? the monsters. 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 They're dinosaurs, so, though. Not all of them are. But uh, that's why I thought when we get to this, the Super Mario Odyssey trailer, <laughs> when that first started, I'm like, is this Monster Hunter? <laughs> and then he got the cap on his yeah, head. Yeah, like, no, I was, thinking this, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Because I'm like, I know there's a Monster Hunter coming to Switch. I'm like, oh, this must be it. And then, <laughs> nope. Um, but before we move to Nintendo, what uh, uh, any other Sony? No, I can't think of any thing. Um, I know going back to Microsoft quick, they showed off Beyond Good and Evil 2. Wow. But everybody was. I never played it, the first one. It threw everybody care. off because it was apparently dropping like f bombs, like out the yin yang in the trailer, and everybody was like, "Okay, this is such a like turn from the original that it's like, what the heck is going on?" But all right, um, I guess we'll move to uh, Nintendo now. Um, my personal favorite conference of E3, but that's because I care about Nintendo more so than anybody else. But um. So to start off, they started off with Reggie talking. Of course, it's always Reggie. <laughs> and then, uh, Reggie. what was the first game they showed off was, uh... Oh, gosh, I don't even remember. Shoot, what was the first one that they showed off? <coughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Was it? Yeah. Which, you know what, if you like this game, it's cool. And apparently it's still coming out this year, which is surprising. Um, after that they showed Kirby. That was unexpected. It looks... Like, every other Kirby... looks like the last Kirby game. It really does. It's because it's the same engine, but... It looks exactly the same. It's the same engine as, like... Turn people into as a triple deluxe. Friends. And, um, oh, the Wii one. Oh. Well, the Friends looks thing like comes... like the Wii The Friend one. thing comes from, uh... Su- uh... Um... The Super... What? Super Superstar? Superstar, that's it. <laughs> Um, and then it also um, brings back the mixing of the abilities from Kirby 64, too. I don't know if you noticed that. I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> I thought he was just taking the ability from his friend and mixing it with he's, whatever you have. I don't know, but he's... That's but what it looked the, like. The abilities are mixing, and I don't know, I mean, it's Kirby, That's it's going to be it, fun, right. man. You didn't, you didn't play the Wii one yet with me. No, but I played Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot, and they were fantastic games. So the Wii one, I need you to play with me. You need to play the to other get two. Those no. Why? Give me a reason why. They're they're <sighs> Kirby games. They're, they're not handheld games, aren't they? Yeah, but <laughs> that's why they play exactly. <laughs> they play exactly like the Wii one. I don't feel one. like it. Exactly like the Wii one, just not on a console. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they look just as good. They play I just as it. well. <laughs> um. What does trophies? They also showed. What was after Kirby? I don't know. Okay, well we'll just go down. Yoshi, that was on Metroid Prime Four. Was before that. Okay, yeah, I know because everybody was like, "Did you watch no, that video?" Nobody is. Nobody pays attention did to Yoshi you, right after did that. Did you watch that video? Of the people reacting? Not yet. No. Oh, you should. I watched a few reactions from it, and they're all like, "Ah!" Yeah, the one in Nintendo, the Nintendo place in New York. What's that place called? Um, uh, the Nintendo store? I don't know. Something like, yeah, they had a bunch of people there and they filmed their reaction. You should watch it. It's pretty funny. There was like three people that was watching it, the reaction. I mean, I was like, totally I was like, hoping, that was my hope for this whole, this Nintendo conference was a Metroid announcement. As soon as I saw the star starting to form, I knew it was the screw attack. I was like, okay, yeah, I, I, yeah, this I symbol. The, yes, yeah, no. And then the four cut me up, and I was like, "Holy crap, they're actually doing it!" And Justin, a different company. Fre- Justin freaked out. Yeah, I know, but that doesn't mean it won't be. That doesn't mean it'll be bad. But 
Oh. No. So, Metroid Prime 4 is a thing. It's happening. Who knows when? Definitely not next year, because they no, would have said. Yeah, no, the, the, but they just wanted to let you know. This to is, stop yeah. all you losers from complaining about it. Yeah. Um, after that, they showed Yoshi, which hardly anybody like took weird. notice to because they were still freaking out about Metroid. But yeah, I wasn't expecting another sequel to like Wooly World. Basically, it's basically what it is. It's just, but it's not. It's a different I mean, style. Well, Yoshi is it's still like arts and crafts. Gone. Yoshi's yeah, still very really young, that. but the, yeah, it's like arts and crafts, and the flipping of that's going to be that's disorienting. <laughs> you hit people in the background in the foreground. Yeah, that's going to be disorienting on how you do that. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll probably play it, because it looks, it's Yoshi, and I like Yoshi games, so. Um, what else did they show off that was really exciting? Nothing. Well, Mario, like Rocket obviously. League. Oh, Rocket League is coming. So those of you who like Rocket League, you're gonna have it on Switch. I've never and even heard of it. It's gonna be crossplay with, with Xbox Microsoft. and PC. Um, because Sony, Sony Sony was weird and was not to do with that, but that's cool. And then they showed off Mario Odyssey, which that game looks weird, fantastic. It looks weird. It looks weird, but it looks it, it looks is fantastic. Bizarre. Honestly, like I wasn't expecting the whole inhabiting everything. No, I wasn't either. Do you but... see all the memes and stuff about that? People have been making fun of that. Oh, I'm sure. Or not making fun of it, but making weird comments about it. Oh, I'm sure. Pretty funny. They're, There's they're... an article on Yahoo about it, and, people have, and they showed all the different stuff people were saying. Some of it was hilarious. I have to look at that. Something cause... about if you inhabit Bowser, what, what is he? Mm-hmm. Does he go crazy and think everything is Mario or something? Well, Something somebody like was that. like, you know what, mm-hmm. they could totally see the final boss being you take taking control of Bowser and vice versa and having to like kind of do something like that. <coughs> Someone was like, well, what, okay, well then, what the heck? You just take control of Bowser and just walk him off a cliff. And it's like, well, that's a dark well, ending you for too, don't it? Yeah, because it's you inside you the body. So technically, it'd be like Bowser fighting Mario almost, um, which would be interesting if they did that. Um, but no, I've I've seen little comic strips of like. Bowser or Mario throwing a sad and you know there was one where someone threw where he accidentally threw it like on Sonic and he <laughs> even the Sonic's body or whatever but honestly it looks great I'm excited for it it looks like a callback or basically going back to 64 and Sunshine which is what I want so yay yeah um what do you think of Odyssey, other than it being I don't weird. know yet. You don't know yet? Honestly, I gotta it's, play it. it's refreshing I gotta play it. from coming to all those stupid new Super Mario Brothers games. I was getting oh, sick yeah, of those. And they made enough of them that they never need to do another one of those ever again. Yeah, no. my opinion. If they want to do another 2D Mario, then do it in a different style. Don't do new yeah. again. I think we're done with that. Do it in the, the drawings. That would be interesting. I would they like could to do see it. that. They could do it. I know they could. They won't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or a sequel to a classic Mario game with the same graphics. Yeah. And, and then... Mario World 2. In not the, Yoshi's uh, Island. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and then uh, in the Treehouse, we got a grand total of, I think, three announcements? Three game announcements? I'm pretty sure. Some weird sushi game, which just looks like a action puzzle game made with sushi or something. Not made with sushi, but about sushi or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. Um, we got the confirmation of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions, which, yes, I'm so excited for that. I'm, I love Superstar Saga and the fact that it's remade in it's... I'm excited. Um, and the fact that plus Bowser's Minions is basically adding a, a story... Adding story content to the original game, which is, I think is great. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then we... Um, oh, we're quick about Mario and Luigi. I find it hilarious. Did you watch that portion? Uh, no, I barely so, watched it. So, the guy before the break's like, next time we're going to we're gonna show you guys Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. And then it cuts, and I'm like, wait a minute. They're, wait, what? Because <laughs> that oh, hasn't really? even been like revealed yet. And then it's it cuts to them, and the guy's like... Hey, we're here with Mario and Luigi Super Society. Pause. He's like, which we're just announcing now, aren't we? It's like uh, he completely forgot. He, he, I guess, didn't and then he's like, uh, oh, we got, we got a, we got a trailer to show, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. 
Well, cool. You kind of uh, just like totally flipped the lid on that uh, one. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't think it was. <laughs> <laughs> but during like the first five seconds of the trailer, the guys weren't muted. So you hear, you, hear this, you, hear, no, you, you hear this one guy start cracking up laughing. It's, oh, really? it's hilarious. Uh, but uh, uh, the other announcement, which I know got you excited, was Metroid yeah, that Samus came Returns. Out of nowhere. And it's a remake of Metroid 2. Which is cool. Um, so... But it, it looks like Metroid Prime in 2D. That's what it looks like. And the sound effects and everything is the same. Is there Music a problem with that? <laughs> straight from... Well, it's a different... It's not the... Not the... Not the GBA. True. I can't believe it's been this long. They haven't had a Metroid 2D game on 3DS. It says Fusion. 3DS has I know. been out for how long? I know, but Fusion was the last 2D game. I know, that's crazy. 2D game, and that was when the first Prime came out, because it came out the same day. Yeah, there was a, you, can link so, them, you can link the games. Yeah. So I'm glad I held off on doing chronologically the Metroid series. Though I still could, because those two games... Well, we turn us... Believe it or not, Metroid 2 takes place late. It takes place late in the... Metroid 2 takes place when? Zero Missions first, then it's the Prime, all three of them. Okay, I know Fusion's last. And I think it's Super, and then Metroid. No. no I Metroid think... 2, and then Super Metroid, I think. And then Fusion. Other M. Oh, Super right, Metroid. Other M. Other M, and then King. Which I got the strategy guy for Other M. Did you, oh, you did download it, didn't no, you? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, what the, you got the strategy guy? Yeah, I was preparing because I was going to um, start it if they didn't make any announcement, but I just, I held off. Well, I can tell I you that a lot of, like a lot of people said that the, was the, game, the gameplay of Other M is, everybody said, is okay. It's the story that sucks. I know, it's what Morgan Webb said. <laughs> Ever since, whatever she said about that game, I refused to buy Whatever happened to that show? That just like, That was stop. X-Play. G4 yeah. is no longer even a TV show. I know. So do those, are those people Sucked. even I do to anything? Wa- I have no idea what they're doing now. <laughs> Sucked. I love that. I watched that channel all the time back, back in the day did. when I lived with my grandma. Because like, that's, well, that's where I watched E3. Yeah, you, yeah. They had E3 on there. But. They watched that work. Yeah. <laughs> when they debuted the Wii U, I remember it. I remember, I remember uh, going home and watching it on TV the year that they revealed the uh, Skyward Sword. Is this it? Yeah. And then they finally... Wow. <laughs> oh, he snorted. <laughs> so I'm just like, what? That, that That's fantastic. Wow. But, uh... <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. Um... <laughs> um where were we? Oh, Metroid right. 2. Metroid. <laughs> Same so, are, you, are you excited? If there's a deluxe edition with a soundtrack from all... Mm. I think it's the first time Metroid. Are you going to get that? Yeah. The special edition? It has music from all the Metroids. How does it? Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. That's the first time I think they've had a soundtrack. All, every other game gets a soundtrack. Kirby, which Mr. I have. Zelda, I have that. Zelda does. <laughs> Mario. Mario does. I would, don't, oh, okay, Donkey Kong, where's that soundtrack at? Oh my gosh. They need to release a box set. Literally, of, of all those games, Donkey Kong Country I think one, they two, did three back in the day. And Tropical Freeze, up. like oh my god! I think back in the day they did have CDs of those. They're not. I want, <laughs> I want a CD of Tropical Freeze. That would be amazing. Well, I don't know why they don't release that stuff. I don't know. But you know, no it's Smash like, Brothers. Yeah. No virtual console. No Which they made a, classic. They, did, they made a statement on the virtual console yes, that they're know. trying to make it work. Which means or they whatever. don't know what they're doing. So, they're not prepared um, for anything. No. So, um... <laughs> I want the virtual console. So bad. Not that I really <sighs> care. 
I What'd care. you do? I went back. Why? The only thing I care about is the games I'm missing. Okay? Which isn't much. No, it's There's not some much. GBA games. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I'm just going to walk around. I'm not... Why? Because I can. Um... I would just like GameCube games, please. Uh, no, I mean they just need to remaster them. Duh. Yeah, well, they're, I don't Do think that they're gonna instead. remaster all of them. There's not that many. Oh, there's a lot. Um, what? Sunshine. That's it. Sunshine. There's Mario Golf. There's Animal Who Crossing. Cares about Mario there's Mario Golf. Let's do a new Spider-Man one. Spider-Man Two. There's Animal Crossing. No. There's a bunch of Sonic games. Why is Sunshine? Turn on Darkness. Metroid Prime. Well, the only ones. Metroid Prime's on the Wii. That's not an HD remaster. Though. Neither is what you're saying. <laughs> All you need is my sunshine. I thought I need Tron Darkness. No, Double Dash. I want Double Dash. Maybe Double Dash. <laughs> okay, you know that you're gonna they're play not, Mario Kart they're not that. doing a HD remaster of Double Dash. There's no, no way. I would love it, but there's I, mean, I have no other way. games on that, but they're not that good. I have a Wolverine game. X Men fighting game. I like terrible. all of those games down there. Uh, a Hulk game was cool. The what? A Hulk. Oh, Hulk game. Yeah. Um. What else? I don't think there's anything else Nintendo related at E3. Hmm. I don't believe really, no. Yeah. They didn't show anything new. So. Uh, much. Okay. So you got any uh? Any other news? Can't really Black Panther that. trailer came out. That came out the night that we did last week's podcast, but it was I didn't see it till afterwards. No, what? what? Yeah, it was because oh, I, yeah, I remember asking you about that before. We were at Jason's. Yeah, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't see it till I got home. So I was glad to see. Uh... Oh, what's Claw. He was in Age of Ultron. Gone. In the circus. Oh, the, oh okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I was glad. I, yeah, I, was, I was wondering was... if he was gonna he was gonna be in this because he is the Black Panther villain. Oh, okay. so I was glad to see that he that he was in it. And then, uh, <laughs> and a lot of people in it actually. There was that one cop guy. Cop. From was he in Civil War? I think. He was he's not a cop. Well, Talking about Martin it? Freeman. Yeah. Bobo. Yeah. He's not a cop. I forget what he was. He's not no. a cop. I forget what he was exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he's I didn't know back. he was coming back either. But I'm okay with this. But that's February. Was that confirmed? Cool. Because on the trailer it didn't say. Yes, it's February. Oh, okay. Um... I don't think there's any other news. Uh, I can't think of any other news. Okay. Um, then moving on then, unless you can think of something in the next few minutes. No? Okay. Uh, reviews and things. You got anything? Yeah. Okay, because I still <laughs> don't have any. Come on, mate. Come on, Mark. I know. Like, Come on, Mark. I bought that movie and we haven't watched it yet. And yeah. So go ahead with your. Uh... Well, I finished Resident Evil Four. I thought you said you were still playing, playing that. No, I just finished it. Oh, okay. Like yesterday. Oh, okay. Or two days ago or something. Um. Uh, the the trophies for that aren't that great. Like, they could have added more trophies. Like, like, there's all these side game, side modes. Okay. Like, there's this one girl you run into every now and then, and then there's a separate mode where you get her view of the story. Okay. Play as her. You play in the same levels, pretty much. But there's no trophies associated with that or the mercenary thing, which is time attack type of levels. You pick different characters from the game. It's basically oh, okay. a time attack. I didn't even play it. 
the no trophies so you know with that I got all the trophies I've won to beat it on professional mode which pff, forget it I won't get past the first level because the first level you, they don't give you much ammo and stuff so you're dead <clears throat> but the cool thing about that game is you can play it again with, with um, your stuff upgraded okay well that's so, nice I so know. Eight. But it's not like Resident Evil 5. <laughs> See, Resident Evil 5 is the only game I can think of where you can actually change the difficulty with your upgraded stuff. Oh, I see. So okay. I was able to play that on hard, easy. I upgraded the highest weapon in the game all the way up. <laughs> and then switched it. On hard. And the thing about Resident Evil 5, here I'm talking about Resident Evil 5. When you upgraded a weapon all the way up, you can get infinite ammo version of that weapon. So I got oh, infinite nice. ammo of the highest gun in the game. One hit kills pretty much. <laughs> so I played on hard. I was, it was like easy. That's one of the few games where I was able to... I don't think I played on the highest because there's one difficulty where like one hit you're dead. I don't think I wanted I'm to sure do that. I'm sure that's great. So I was like, screw that. I ain't do that. But they don't, get, they don't give you that ability. Um... And I forgot how long, how much, how long this freaking game was. I felt like it was going on forever. I was like, Man. <laughs> but I got as many trophies as I could. And then That's I all that counts. Um, I watched Kill Bill for the first time in a while. I was gonna say I thought you watched that before, but Bill. Well, Kill Bill is number two, man. On my top oh, you're movies of all time. I was like, wait, how is it number two if it's the first one? Kill Bill. <laughs> and the reason why I never bought it was because all these years, Mr. Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino said he was going to release a version that um, was both movies together. Okay. As one movie, which it is. Uh, with certain little bit of changes to it. Yeah. But I'm still waiting for this to come out. There's barely any special features on them either. That was the other thing. I figured they got to be doing some massive box set thing. Well, where is this at, Tarantino? So Jason got them for Christmas. So I thought, i got to watch it again. It's been so long. Right. Oh, but man, freaking what a, oh, what a good movie. Movies. <laughs> I'm going to say movie because it's one long movie. So good. I mean, this is one of those rare movies where every single shot, every single word that people say, it just mesmerizes me. It's like, I can't. <laughs> I just focus on it. It's just so good. What is the genre of that? I've always, I never knew. That's, that's its own. <laughs> that movie's so unique because it's an homage to a bunch of 70s okay. kung fu. 70s kung fu movies, mostly. Well, okay. That movie does weird things in it that no other movie will ever do. Well, like yeah. these weird tongue in cheek things, like weird music cues and, and camera, like zoom ins. Like it's really like retro. Okay. Like, well, do you know what the movie's about? No. Well, Uma Thurman's in it. She's the main character. She's the bride. Yeah. She was a part of this this group of people called the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad. Yeah, okay. they had weird name. They all had code names that were snakes, and Cottonmouth. And okay, she was Black Mamba, and well, the movie jump. I mean, the movie's not linear. It jumps. That there's a lot of jumping between like the present and the past. Oh, okay. So you've learned this through the course of the movie. Then you, but you find she leaves the group, and the, the well, the leader of the group was Bill. Okay, and he was the snake charmer. So his code name was Snake Charmer. And those two had a thing going on, and she got pregnant, and decided not to be a an assassin anymore. Okay. And then was getting married to this other guy, and during a wedding rehearsal, um, Bill came and killed everyone there, and then shot her in the head, but she survived. She was in a coma for four years. Okay. Woke out of it, and then was plotting her revenge on each member of the assassination squad. Okay. So that's what she does. She kills off or attempts to kill off each member and then goes to Bill. But one of the cool things he does is whenever she sees... Isn't there like four of them? There's two. Two of them. Okay. Um, whenever she confronts one of the members, they play this music cue. It's like, Eeyaw! it's really cool. It's like the weird retro. It's I love it every time they do it. It's like, uh, I can't make the noise. <laughs> it's like, Eeyaw! You won't do it. It's cool, man. 
It was a lot of blood. Like the blood squirts out of people, like a fountain. Like it's so over so the top. So it's like three hundred. Like it, it was. In a way. It's worse than that. Like it's you can worse see it. than that. Like there's this one scene where a guy gets decapitated, his body's still, and blood is literally going. Tss. <laughs> so it's a little See what I mean? It's like, it's... Yeah, that's what I mean. There's a lot of weird, tongue in cheek, weird th- moments like that in the movie. Um, but there's one scene where she fights against like I don't know how many people, but there was so much blood that he had to turn that scene black and white in order <laughs> to get not get an NC-17. I guess and that was one of the changes he was going to make in the, the long words, which is called the whole bloody affair. Kill Bill, the whole bloody affair. Is that scene was going to be in color? Oh, okay. Like she rips people's eyes out. <clears throat> it's pretty wild. But what's awesome about that scene is that at the very very end. When everyone's defeated, yes. they're all like land moaning, going, oh, and he's, <laughs> their limbs are laying around. There's one guy, the guy, the guy's eye ripped out, the only one walking around, but he can, he's like, <laughs> it's funny. They're all moaning and groaning. <laughs> it's okay. great. Oh, the music um, and music's really good. It just laid heavy down, and he's right up there, so we're going to have to keep it down. He's above us? Yeah, he's in his room now, so. Is that above us? Yeah. His room's right oh. there. Good cast. Um, I mean, even the scenes that don't really have anything to do with anything are just mesmerizing. Like, the scene where... I guess that's good for a movie. And there's there's a whole anime section. Like, they, they give you the backstory to one of the members of the assassination squad. And it's all in anime. Super bloody. It's freaking cool. Like, stylized anime. That's weird. Awesome. It is. Like, it, it just do weird... He does weird things in this movie. It's just, that's like why it. I love it so much. Sounds like, like it. Um, but I don't know why... That was, he, she was the only one they gave a backstory to. No one else would really know their backstory. But it's, for some reason, she went into hers and it was all animated. Uh, huh. Uh, yeah, it's, just, it's good stuff. Ten. I'd give it a ten... We're going, I thought we were doing I, five. I know. I oh, said I give oh. tens to the ones that are oh, way above okay. and beyond. Uma Thurman's great in it. Okay. Samuel Jackson's in a little bit. One little scene. Does he say the F word because he likes to no, do that? No, he was the he was the piano player at the wedding rehearsal. <laughs> you don't even really get a close up shot of him. You, you see behind his head and then you see him from far away. But it's him. That's weird. This is a cameo type of thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's unlike him a little bit, but okay. Um, he had said he wanted to do, he might do a third one, where the a little girl gets revenge on Uma Thurman, because Uma Thurman kills the one. One of the assassins she kills had a daughter. She's fighting her in this like suburban house. It's great. Okay. Her daughter comes home from school. And she kids, witnesses. Uma Thurman killing her her mom and she's like you know if you need to avenge this I'll be waiting and Quentin Tarantino said he that's probably what the the third one's gonna be about because it's been so much time it's been that movie came out in 2003 oh wow it's been been, 15 15 years so So they could get the same girl I think he said he wanted to so that might be what it's about that girl's gonna get revenge on on Uma interesting which I guess you can't call it Kill Bill because Bill's dead. Oops, spoiler alert. <laughs> Gee. Spoiler alert. She yells Bill at the end. In a really weird way. Kind of a cool It would way. be a stupid name if it didn't happen. <laughs> um, there was a shocking ending, too, to the first one. Okay. A shocker of an ending. Good ending. It, start, it, it opens good, too. That movie opens really cool. I could go on and on about it. <laughs> but I won't. Okay. Um, Katy Perry. The new album? I'm liking it. Okay. Uh, and I gauge that on, if it gets to the point where I, I don't want to stop listening to it. Okay. Like, I'm on the third round in my car. That's how I know I really like it. Jeez, that's kind of how I am on a... And I'm like, I don't want to stop listening to this because I'm... Man, Katy Perry, she's four for four for me. I think that's the first time... I think she's the only modern musician that I listen to I've liked four of the albums in a row 
That's kinda, I think she's the only one. It's kind of how I am with um, this Hillsong was, CD that I just was, came out. I was disappointed with Paramore. That was their... Well, okay, wait, that was their fifth. But Paramore was all right. None of those albums jumped out at me hugely, like Katie's. Katie's third album is amazing. Like, there's a lot of good songs in that third album. This is her fourth... Well, fifth. You count the self-titled Christian CD she released in 2001. I just want to hear this. It's on YouTube. Just YouTube? It's not like Spotify or anything? Oh, I don't know. I, I have no idea if it's on that. Hmm. I don't think so, because I don't think you can buy it anywhere. That's weird. Um, it's a bit different. I listen to some, some, most of it on YouTube. She sings a little differently. It's not bad. It's a different style. It's not poppy. Well, it's it's, cause it's Christian. Well, so. it's, yeah, but even that is a little different. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know how to describe it. Um, but this album, um, 17 songs in this freaking album. But two of them, it's a Target. Target exclusive has two extra songs. Oh, I hate when they do that. Why? We have a Target. I understand that, but I, I, sometimes I don't know. Well, you, I always look it up. Oh. Go to Wikipedia. Go to their album. And it, Hillsong Wiki, did that once. Well, go to Wikipedia. They tell you the each version of the album. Okay. Usually. Now, they didn't do that with Ellie Goulding. <laughs> I missed that one. <clears throat> but anyway... Her last album, she had a deluxe edition that had bonus songs. Most of those bonus songs Excuse were actually me. better than the songs on the album. A lot hmm. of those are really good. I would say the majority of this album is pretty good. There's a lot of guest singers. Nicki Minaj is on one song. That song's really good. <laughs> her part's actually the best part of that song. <laughs> I don't even like her. You don't like Nicki Minaj? You don't like Super Bass? Oh, man. I love that song. No. Uh, Katy Perry Witness. Four for four, Katy Perry, she's on a roll, man. She's on a roll. She's on a roll. For me. I just pictured her on a sandwich roll. Oh, God. We're not the deep. <laughs> That's one of our songs. We're not the deep, baby. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her. I love her to death. All right, that's, that's all I got. That's scary. <laughs> I do. She's going to be a judge on the new American Idol. I saw that. Like, that's where I've really started liking her when she was a guest judge on American Idol. I didn't know you watched American Idol. Oh, my gosh. Me and my dad and Don and we used to watch it every Tuesday night. And we loved it. I only watched one loved season it of it. For a couple of seasons. We I stopped. I watched it. It got old after a while. When it was... Well, the fun one, stuff. The auditions was the best part. The Hick guy. Yeah. The, Taylor Hicks. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, what. That's I, the I rooted, year I watched I rooted it. for him from his audition. I remember I was for him too. He, well, but, where is he now? Yeah, I know. I was. He had a cool voice. I remember a little bit after he won him being on a commercial, and then that's the last I saw of him. Yeah, it was he like won, a car I can't commercial. He won. I should have battled him somewhere. Yeah, and he there was, was my a lot favorite. of people that weren't thinking he was gonna win, but <coughs> lo and behold, he did. But any other reviews? No, that was all no. I. Kill Bill, both of them. Katy Perry, CD. You didn't see any movies Resident or anything? Evil 4. No, I won't be going to see one probably until Spider-Man. Oh, that's true. I'm not seeing Transformers. I don't care. I didn't see Wonder <laughs> Woman because I don't care. Even though everybody's saying it's like a really, yeah. it's like the first I, DC movie that's been great. Oh, yeah. It's got it's 92%. I didn't know Doctor Strange got a 90. Oh, did it? Yeah. Most Marvel I films do pretty oh, well. Yeah, that, oh, that's what I should have did for my Marvel. I don't have anything for my Marvel corner. But I wanted to do that, talk about what each rating for each movie. Shoot. Next week. Well, I'll have a book by then. I was supposed to have a book this week, but it got delayed a week. So I had nothing. <laughs> so I've been, re I've been reading It. I can't really talk about it. It. You when I can, I mean, it, it flashes but... back and forth like the miniseries. Oh, okay. Like the adult, how are they gonna do it in the new movie? Because they're not doing that. They're not having the adults in the new movie. It's just I'm that sure. first movie is strictly, strictly the kids part. I'm sure. But the book will. jumps back and forth. Maybe they'll make a second. I mean, line it's like middle. I can see now why this book is so long. Because there's like there's seven characters. Oh, so you have to he has to them. go do backstory for each character. He has to, well, he has oh, to okay. establish who these characters are first as adults. Which is the first thing that he does. Okay. And he goes into so much detail. 
Stephen King does. He's amazing. He can take five pages of just the kid riding his bike to get medicine for his one kid who's having an asthma attack. He'll write five pages of what it was like for that kid to ride his bike. He goes into so much detail. It's, it's, I don't know how he does it. How anyone can write like that. It's insane. <laughs> even, even the minor characters, the wives of the, of the grown-ups, the wives, he goes into their backstory a little bit. Okay. Like, they appear once. He probably wants to get a connection like, to these people. He, but he does it in such an insanely deep way. Like It, it almost makes me believe... Now, I'm going into something else here because he's in the Dark Tower. Stephen King is literally... He is in the Dark Tower books. Okay. And explains where his ideas come from. Because, you know, people ask him, where do your ideas come from? He says, he, is, he doesn't know. He has no idea. He just come to him. That's crazy. He sort of explains in the Dark Tower that it comes through him from this other place through this being called Gan. Yeah, it's like, I'm almost thinking that's almost you. The way he writes, it's like, how does he come up with all this stuff? He doesn't even know. Yeah, That's, that's a whole good. other thing. <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Dark Tower, it's amazing. Dark Tower, oh my gosh. Aren't they making a movie? Yes, but it looks idiotic. <laughs> but just the fact that he was in it blew my mind. <laughs> and his accident played a huge... His, you know, he got hit by a car back in the late 90s. It was a big thing. Some guy really? ran off the road and hit him. Oh, well, that's okay. in the book. Oh. Even the guy that hit him in the truck is a character for a little bit. In the book, in Dark Tower. Like, they prevent it from happening. It changes all this stuff. This interesting. Is, yeah, it is interesting. 99. 99. 90, they kept seeing this number, 99. The characters right. in Dark Tower didn't know what it meant. The 1999. 19 and 99. They kept seeing these. In 1999, I think, was when he got hit by the car. Alright. So they go back to that. I forget the reason why. It's been so long since I've read those books. I can't even remember why they needed to save him. I don't know. Anyway. But anyway, you have to, then you have to establish what they're like as kids. Seven characters. That's why this book is so stinking long. There's too many characters. I mean, I mean the clown has hardly been in it in a major way. Kids haven't even gotten... I read it for... I, I read a good chunk and the kids haven't even all banded together yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it's wow. that much stuff. It goes into the history of the town. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. You got anything else? No. No? I'm Dang. done Resident Evil 4. I don't know what... I'm thinking about starting Metroid. Just go ahead and start, because... I know. So when's Metroid 4 going to take place? Right after 3? Federation Force. I don't, I'm not counting it. No, Federation Force actually leads into 4, because there's a... Uh, you don't know that. There's a statement or something, because everybody was... You don't know was, that, because there's something happening at the end of 3. The, no, apparently, like, apparently there's some kind of something that hinted at a Metroid Prime 4 within Federation Force so everybody was like oh this means there must be one coming but Federation Force is canon you realize that right but you're not seeing this really He's, she's in it a lot apparently you're not but her it's her you're not her no you're not her but <laughs> I don't care Force probably gonna reference Federation Force just saying I don't know that it happened, Chris. I know you don't <laughs> want to believe it, but it happened. I don't need to play it. And I won't. Then you're not really doing it in chronological order. Shh. Yes, I am. The Samus point of view. <laughs> well, again, you she was in Federation you Force. You're not so you her. Get that. You won't see what she went through. I can read about it online. Brief description of what it Apparently is. Apparently, it wasn't that bad. I don't Gameplay care. Wise. I don't care. Whatever. Um, I'll probably just play Rock Band and then play Zelda. One. <laughs> so the DLC comes out on the thirtieth anyway. Yeah, I'm, gonna it does. To, I'm gonna have to play that. But I'll just do that. I have to find all those. Uh, I know. I won't new... have no map for that. No guide for that. No. You know it. It would be nice to have the Korok thing, though. I know you have your map, but... 
Whatever. All right, you ready to do this? Hot dog tip. Is that what's yeah. next, I guess? Because you don't really have Marvel? I told you I don't have anything. Okay. But yeah, none of the Marvel movies have gotten a rotten score. I, I didn't movies. think so. None of them. I think the lowest was Incredible Hulk. That because like that, that that happened, John. That really happened. <laughs> At least <laughs> I watched it. You have to count it. Unlike you, you don't even play a game that's in the that's chronological a waste of my story. time. Well, apparently, so was Hawk. If it was a but... movie, I would watch it. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. Mm-hmm. That's why you didn't want to play whatchamacallit. What are you talking about? Other M because it's movie like and it's stupid. no. I didn't want to play because what Morgan Webb was saying about it. She even said, "I don't think this game should be canon." It is. She hated the story so much. That's why I never played it because of what she said. Yeah, well, this is why you only take reviews. I can declare things not canon. With a grain Do that of with salt. the comic books. Of course, I have a reason for that. This is why That's you take error. reviews with a grain of salt until you play a game. Morgan for Webb, I trusted her. Yeah, you're going to play it and watch you love it. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, right. She, she <laughs> lied to me. <laughs> Fools. All right. Then, yeah, we got a, a taste test. Taste on. test. Tell them what it is. Oots. Classic. Original. Grill. Grilled. It's grilling classic. Classics. Grilling classic. It's hot it's dog. Two different... Grilled, grilled hot, hot dog, dog flavored, flavored potato chips. They also have cheeseburger. Well, we're curious. Doing, this one's the hot dog. Yeah, because I don't so. like cheeseburgers, so I wasn't gonna. We're gonna open the bag now. It's gonna be loud, guys. Hmm, <laughs> smells interesting. <laughs> you want to smell it before I you try? <laughs> Smells like a crab chip. A little bit. Sort of. No, 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 it smells a little barbecue even. It's probably gonna have a grilled flavor to it rather than a hot dog. Mm-hmm. Nothing beats a summertime hot dog off the grill. Now you can yeah, enjoy that grilled. same great flavor in our grilling class. It's grilled hot dog potato chips. Take these chips where you grill where your grill can't go. Grab a bag today and get snacking. <coughs> Alright. You ready? Yeah. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Three. Two. Hold on. Okay. One. I wonder if it smells tastes like ketchup. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that has a weird taste. Good. There it's is, like a raw hot dog. There is a taste of a hot dog. It tastes like a raw hot dog. Like the smell of a raw hot dog. It's not cooked yet. I'm not sure what I think. Try another. Try a big one. I don't know if I want to. Try a big <laughs> one. It's... Oh! That one was strong. That one almost had I an feel un- like oniony. Taste, I feel like I taste a hint of mustard in there. Yeah. And onions, kind of. No, I don't like it. Nope. No, I don't like it. Wow. What do you think? I give it a thumbs down. I don't like it. What do you think? It's bizarre. <laughs> you keep eating it, so. Yeah. It's not that great. No, it's not. All right, well, that was that. Oh, it's grilling classics. Grill yeah, hot dog. Natural smoke flavor. This mustard seed. That's the mustard. Tomato powder. Rice flour. I don't know where they get the. Hot dog flavor. <laughs> okay, well, that was enjoyable, everybody. No, it wasn't. That was not enjoyable. You know, that's the first PS2 game they remade. What? For PS4. What? 
Show the classes. And now they're doing a remake remake. That's what I meant. <laughs> a remake of a remake. remake. This is the first actual remake of a PS2 game on PS4. Yeah, because I guess Kingdom Hearts was just a uh, HD upgrade. A remaster. Re remaster. RGN was like, you know, they were all excited. Because they were saying that originally that was that game was probably a little too ambitious for PS2. Mm-hmm. Because there was um, frame rate issues because the game was so big. Oh, yeah. And the controls were kind of weird. I have a feeling that's not going to change because Last Guardian's <laughs> controls weren't, <laughs> weren't the yeah, best like it, either. But, you know, this technically isn't being made by them. It's being made by the people that did the remaster on PS3. Oh, okay. It did say something about the controls being different, so I don't know. But they have the ability to play with the classic controls. <laughs> if you're a purist, I guess. I guess. <laughs> a quick side note, did you know that this game was actually originally for the 3DS? What? This one. Was the, uh, was the 3DS one. That's great, man. Until they That's did great. the HD remake on the PS4. I don't, is it a remake? Remaster. There's a difference! Well, they didn't add anything to uh, it. You know, besides trophies, I think so. every important game before the PS3 should be remade. Every important game? Yeah. Like God of War 1 and 2. Resident Evil 4. <laughs> remade or remade remastered? Remade with modern graphics. Not remastered. Every game's been remastered. I'm talking about a complete remake with today's graphics. Heck, All the important would, ones. Mario 64. Heck, I would love to play through... The first three Uncharted and Uncharted 4 graphics. Yeah. That would well, be... Well, no, they were PS3 games. Nope, that don't count. Oh, okay. I said PS... Really? PS3. Even the first Uncharted came out they in the PS3 look... era? Yes, that was oh. PS3 games. Well, I didn't... Really... They look fine enough. I didn't get into the era. PS2 games don't look that fantastic. <laughs> no, they don't. Like I said, God of War 1 and 2, Resident Evil 4... Oh my gosh, the original Kingdom Hearts in what that what PS2? Yeah, it's PS2. All right, there you go. There's in one. the way I've been, at least in the trailer shots of what Kingdom Hearts three looks like, that would be amazing. Even this yeah. game. That's what I'm saying. Man. But maybe they will. Maybe Shadow of the Colossus will lead the way. To maybe. remakes. Because then, yeah, you would get master. Mario sixty four. You would get because it's Ocarina odd. of Time and Majora's Mask and. Well, that's Nintendo. Yeah, well, you brought up Mario 64. Yeah, that's my number one, you know. And if you're going through all the important games of that era, I know you don't care. Just but 3D I would... games. 2D games, not so much. Okay, well, I know you don't care 3D. about the series, but I would personally love a remake from the ground up of the first two Sonic Adventures. I They're not important games. They're important games to the Sonic They're franchise. Not... <laughs> I've talked to video gaming in general. Okay, there are important games. The video game Sonic's world. first leap to The video game 3D. world. It's his first leap to 3D. It's important. <laughs> um, but it's, I said I didn't expect this because they did a remaster of PS3. It's odd that they would do you know a what? remake of a remaster. I'm just going to say this. Anything's possible because we're getting another stinking Bubsy game. So <laughs> I never thought in a million years that we would get another Bubsy. But well, And it doesn't even look that good. It still looks horrible. <laughs> God of War 1 and 2. Remake those for me. They're the so neat. They don't games. want to. Why not? Too much work. Well, so what? I don't know. It gives you something to do. <laughs> Between God of Wars. <laughs> Between God of Wars. Have some other company and do it. drop. You fall asleep? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yeah, you do. Uh, are we done now? I what? Th I think we're done. Jeez. So, thank you all for listening and tuning in. For uh, hot dog chips. Yeah, they're nasty. Don't try them. Um, Cheeseburger. Tune in next week. Um, as I, I should guess, have a book. Are we going to try the I cheeseburger should... one or are we trying no, something else? No, I don't know. Okay. I said the grilled cheese. And... <laughs> grilled cheese. Okay. Um, we'll think of something else we're going to try. But... So I didn't have anything from a Marvel corner. I dropped the ball. But my book was delayed a week. I don't it know happens. why. I ordered it just a few days. I, I always double check the date. It happens. Look at my little jiggle. I know it does. Well. It looks like um, 
Lockjaw, a little bit. Lockjaw. Inhumans. Oh. Okay. TV show. He's on that. He's going to be on that. This isn't. This is I'm called curious a dream. About that this is show. called a dream eater. I'm curious about that show. I'm not going to like. Yeah, well. Oh, Street Fighter. They didn't know anything about Street Fighter because they're doing something with Comic Con, they said. That's when the oh, Street okay. Fighter. Street Fighter announcement's coming to Comic Con. Oh, and for those of you that care, we're getting another world and a trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 at the D23 or whatever that's called. No, the. the What is that? Disney. I don't even know what you're saying. Like Disney, Disney has their own thing? Yeah, they do have their own thing. I think it's like D23 <laughs> or something like that. But they're. Uh, um, during that um, little get together thing they're going to be showing a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer and a new world so I wonder what that's going to be it's probably going to be Frozen because of how popular that was again they're probably going to have oh another thing. thing Kill Bill whenever they would say her name they would bleep it out her name? at the beginning okay before they finally revealed what her name was in a very clever way then okay. they did something really weird at that point, I won't tell you. Okay. That's strange. Okay. <laughs> I just thought of that now. Okay. They would bleep her name whenever they said her name. That's weird. She was just called the bride. That's weird. Okay. Kill Bill, I'm talking about. Yes, thank you all for watching. <laughs> Tune in next week. Sayonara. Pop up. New Guinea.